Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is a continuation of Noontime L8. This recording goes over your $1,400 third stimulus check and how to track it. If you do not receive it by direct deposit today, March 24th, it's going to be in the mail, says IRS. But my advice is that if you don't see it by March 25th, tomorrow, it's in the mail. So how do you track when it's coming in the mail? How do you track anything about it? In this video, which is a little bit shorter, I'm going to be going over the IRS Track My Stimulus Check tool and how to fix it if you show no result or no effective information. Number two, I'm going to go over the transcript tool of IRS to track your stimulus check. And then I'll go over the informed delivery consent information tool of the U.S. Postal Service. Three different tools to track the delivery of your stimulus check if it's coming in the mail. As Noontime L8 continues. Hey, good afternoon. How are you? There's three different tools you can use to track your stimulus check if you do not receive it by direct deposit on March 24th. Because IRS's official statement earlier this week is if you do not receive it by direct deposit, it's coming in the mail. So how do you watch where it's in the mail? How do you know what day it's coming in the mail? And how do you know anything about this mail delivery? I got three different tools for you to look at in this video, and I'm going to go through each of them one at a time. But first, if you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Boy, it's been a full day, and in the video before this and the videos coming up after on Afternoons LA, I'll be jumping in the live chat and I'll have the biggest updates for you across the board about the delivery of the stimulus check by direct deposit today and tomorrow. Also, like this video. It really helps in the algorithm ranking. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat and in the description. The first tool most viewers already know about. It's called the irs.gov track my stimulus check tool. The second tool is the transcript tool. And the third one is the informed consent tool. Let me start with the second tool first because it appears that most viewers have not heard about this second tool. It's the transcript tool. Where is it? How do you use it? And how does it work? It's located at irs.gov. This is how you get it. You go to irs.gov, it'll say set up an account, username, and password. Much like you're going to your favorite on online retailer to go buy some clothes, you set up a username and password. No different. It's free. It's totally free. And you set up a username and password. It'll then ask for your social security number. Remember, don't release any of this information to anyone. Keep it private. Do not post it online. This is information about you and your identity, so don't post it anywhere. You'll then set up the username and password. You'll be then able to go into your account. Once inside your account, you'll be able to see all activity about you and your, and your social security number for purposes of the IRS. Inside the port, inside the website of the irs.gov, once you've set up the username and password, you'll want to look for a transcript. Go to the upper corner where there is a search function and search for a transcript. And in there, you'll be able to request a transcript. That's T-R-A-N-S-C-R-I-P-T, a transcript. And the transcript will show all activity under your name for your Social Security number. And the transcript will show the most recent activity first. Hopefully, the most recent activity first is the delivery of an economic impact payment. That and for the amount of $1,400, unless it's a household, that'll be a little bit larger. That is hopefully the first result. One viewer earlier today said, you know what, I use that tool. And the last result says a stimulus check in December for $600. So not particularly helpful for that viewer. But that is generally what it would show. It would show the last stimulus check, the $600, the one in, in March of last year, $1,200. Show your tax returns you filed. This is a very helpful tool. Why? 
because under second stimulus, the tool had more results or results in general when the irs.gov track my stimulus check tool often had no results. I'll say that another way. The transcript tool sometimes delivered results when the tool IRS track my stimulus check tool and irs.gov had no results. Why? It seems as though the transcript tool is tracking activity with your social security number, whereas the irs.gov track my stimulus check tool is tracking activity with your name and your address. More about that in a second. So if you use the IRS tool and it gives you a date, great. I'll explain more about that date in a second. If you use the tool and it shows no information, then what should just think about the situation? There's a 50-50 on this one, folks. No way to really predict the results of no information with the transcript. It either means that the stimulus check is coming in the mail and has not been mailed, or that they have yet to update their database. Now, unlike the irs.gov tool, you can sign into your account all day, all, all, all the time, and request that transcript and see when it updates. What I always recommend is to refresh the screen by signing out and signing back in to see if it has updated itself. If it shows no activity for the, the stimulus check, they may not have mailed it out yet. All right, let's go to the next tool, which is the one that most viewers know about, the irs.gov track my stimulus check tool. That tool would either give you a result or no result. If it gives you a result, let me explain to you the significance of the result. If it says a date and says mailed, understand that that means the check has that date. Let me say it another way. If it says March 31st, check mailed, then that means the date on the check is March 31st. In the corner of the check, March 31st. It does not mean the check is being mailed out from the IRS on March 31st. And it also does not mean that you're getting the check in your at your home on March 31st. Rather, it means the check in the corner is dated March 31st. So what day you're actually receiving this stimulus check? You would likely receive it one to two days ahead of time because IRS usually sends out funds one to two days before the effective date of the check. So March 31st, two days before that is when you would actually receive it. All right, let's say you use the IRS.gov tool and it releases no results. What does that mean? This is two different possibilities. One, the stimulus check has not been mailed. Or two, the most common result is it does not recognize your address. Why? Because the tool is very finicky. If you abbreviate your address or the punctuation is slightly different than the what it wants, it will not recognize that address with you. How do you fix this? There are some online tools where you can track the correct way to type in your physical address. Now, if you use the IRS tool, at gov, at irs.gov, it has no results, and use the transcript tool, and it has no results, then it's likely the stimulus check has not been mailed out. If you use the transcript tool and it does have a result, then go with that information. That is the better source of information before the tool. Again, the transcript is the better source of information because it's specific to you and your social security number than the IRS tool. All right, let's go to the third item. The third item is a little bit different because this is not being, a mo it's not being controlled by IRS. It's being controlled by the post office. This is a tool called the Informed Delivery. It's located at informed, that's I-N-F-O-R-M-E-D, and then delivery.usps.com. You can also Google it. It comes up in just 10 seconds. It's the first result. Informed delivery, mail, and it'll be the first result. The background, you'll be seeing the LLA uh, graphics in the back of the blue. That's not part of the post office. It's because the post office website is uh, formatted in a strange way that you're able to see the LA logos in the back. So the informed delivery by USPS is a very helpful tool because the tool allows you to be able to track things that are in the mail. 
and get a scanned image of it as soon as it's coming before it comes. You'll be able to manage your packages and digitally pre preview any mail before it comes. You can also know what's coming anytime, anywhere, says the tool. The tool allows you to also work it on an app. So you can also do it on Android or also on your iPhone. Those, uh, those apps are also, the links to download the apps are also available on the website from USBS. It's free to use and it sends you an image of the front of the, the envelope that is coming to you when it's on its way. So when is this useful? This is useful if you think the check is going out. If you have some indication from the IRS website that a check is going out, then you can track when that check's coming. Will this tool tell you if a check is coming? If IRS hasn't told you that a check is coming? No. So if you have no indication from IRS that a check is still is actually coming to you, this may not may not be helpful to you because ultimately it may say, I don't know any checks coming from the US, from the IRS. And that may be because there actually may not be a check on the way from you from the IRS. And there you see three different tools that do three different things across the board. There's Linda. I use USPS Informed Delivery. Um, there is Denise. No payment is on that tool. Let me see some other comments. Uh, Judy, I received my stimulus at midnight from Direct Express. Uh, congratulations. Uh, Janet, I just checked my Direct Express card and I'm on nothing yet. And let me see some more of the comments. Thank you, LA, for finding this out for us, says Diane. Uh, Thor, the tool is not working for me. Yes, yeah, so it's two possibilities if the IRS.gov tool is not working for you. One is because it doesn't recognize the address or tool, two, because no check has actually been sent. At the moment, we really can't tell um, why that's been happening. Uh, Solheim, thank you, Allied and the family. You've been godsend. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, Shannon says, try again later on the IRS tool. That's really interesting. So that may be that they're, they're overwhelmed by, um, by requests. It doesn't work for me either, says Linda. Suppose it says not available, uh, Chuck Holt. So if it says not available, then that means they're having problems with the tool. The tool is actually down as opposed to no information. Not available means the tool is not responding. The irs.gov tool is not responding as opposed to no information, which means <laughs> we're working, but we don't know who you are. Um, there's Lynn, nothing yet on Chase. Uh, so there's Eric uh, Rubero, who has a great question. Informed Delivery says there is a mail piece for which we do not currently have an image that's included in today's mail. Could it be a check or no? Uh, hard to say. It's hard to say. I've never used the Informed Delivery myself. Um, this is something a couple of viewers were bringing up. Um, you know, the, the concept of informed delivery is to give you images of things ahead of time. And ultimately, the more you get used to the to the mechanism, the easier you get used to it. Likely, in the case of a stimulus check, it would be able to take an image of it because it's a very bland envelope. Uh, so, Lynette, the first bank is saying my stimulus check will come out on the 31st. That's untrue. That's untrue. Let me jump back into the live feed. Um, throughout the day, there's always been a, a teller or a call center operator or a website somewhere that is telling people, your stimulus check will come by direct deposit on another day. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. IRS's official statement on Monday is, you're getting it today or you're not getting it. That is it. They're saying, if you do not get it in direct deposit today, March 24th, or in what I'm saying also tomorrow, March 25th, then it's in the mail. That's their exact statement. Now, you know, and I know, whether it's Steve Mnuchin or Mark Meadows or the IRS or Donald or Joe or anyone, these people say things all the time, and then suddenly, seven days later, it's different. So 
maybe there is a big issue that they have to address. We don't know. We don't know. We do know what happened in the video before this and the other videos today. And, and you're going to see it on, on Afternoons how like come up in about 40, 10 minutes from now. We have seen a lot of viewers not get a stimulus check today. A lot of viewers. It is not a sporadic group. We saw thousands and thousands of viewers today not get stimulus checks. So um, there's clearly something going on. And it's nothing unique to any particular group. Let me give you the update where we are right now. As of 1 o'clock on the West Coast, which is 4 o'clock uh, o'clock on the East Coast, you got one more hour for banking hours on the East Coast. And I have not seen a large number of people get stimulus checks today. It's been very small. I've seen 9 out of 10 viewers who are waiting for the direct deposit not happening today. And these include people on SSI and SSDI, Social Security and Royal Benefits, and people not. This includes people who file tax returns and people who don't. This includes people who, uh, who have had nothing changed in their life and people who have had things changed in their life. So we've seen a lot of people just knock at stimulus checks today. And we really don't know what's going on, except IRS's advisory to us, which is if you don't get a check today, it's in the mail. So we're in the mail. And then at that point, we have to start using tools. Well, am I definitely getting it in the mail? And when am I getting the mail? That's why we go to the first tool, the IRS Track My Stimulus Check tool at irs.gov. And hopefully that releases a result. Here's one thing you need to know right now is the tool updates itself. The tool updates itself. Viewers have sent me private messages saying, I heard it updates on this day and I heard updates on that day. I heard only updates two days a week. There's a lot of theories out there about when it updates the tool. It does update. It does update. I know that. I know it updated last Saturday. I know it updated about the, around the day before St. Patrick's Day. It does update. You know it updates because you say it in the comments. So what days of the week does it update? Unsure. Will it update again this week? Absolutely. And when it updates, we'll have perhaps more information about you? Absolutely. Once it has that more information about you, that information will also be appearing in the transcript tool. But the transcript tool may have the information before the irs.gov tool because the transcript tool is generally more reliable. Finally, if it does show information about some delivery in the future, that's when you need to jump into the USPS tool and use that informed delivery to track when it's coming because the informed delivery will take a screen grab of the stimulus check before it rolls out. Meantime, here's a video from Bernie Sanders talking about what should be in forced stimulus. Forced stimulus is really heating up this week, and there's been a lot of news about it. I've not covered too much of it because the most important thing is the delivery of stimulus check, but let's watch this one little short video in which Bernie says a lot needs to be still done in the next stimulus package. Let's listen in. At it for a change. We're thinking about the folks that work for us and make it happen on any of these jobs. The owners of the system are not going to give it to you. They never have. It's the workers that's the key. Every benefit, including the minimum wage, which is much too low, has been earned by the sweat and blood of workers during the Depression period to get the little that they have today. Most importantly, what we have got to do is reverse the trend by which it is harder and harder for workers to come together to form a union. In the case of Amazon, let's be clear, you're dealing with an enormous profitable corporation owned by the wealthiest guy in America, Jeff Bezos. They can afford to pay their workers living wages and provide decent benefits. Power rests with people who are organized and are willing to stand up and fight for their rights. You have the right to have dignity. You have the right to have decent health care, decent housing, if you get together and if you organize. And if the folks in Bessemer can do that, it will be a shot heard around the world and I think give a lot of encouragement to other workers who would like to join unions. All of these big businesses, they come together and they form unions. But if the people who have money are able to come together, why is it that working people, low income some people are unable to come together to form unions. When you are alone and you're getting low wages and bad working conditions, you don't have a whole lot of power. You can go to your employer, maybe they'll do something, maybe they won't. But when you stand together and you engage in collective bargaining, when you fight for a decent contract, you're going to improve life for all of the workers in your plant. And there you go. One of the many messages that Bernie Sanders is delivering before we go into forced stimulus, which is actually happening right now, 
it's not formulated into anything cohesive. So that's why you haven't heard me cover it too much. It's a hot mess unto itself. But I will be detailing it as it starts to formulate into something a little bit more coherent from the White House over the next few days. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for joining me on this quick, shorter video. <laughs> It was only 20 minutes long. Uh, and I'm back with you on Afternoons L8. And coming up in about um, 15 minutes, it's going to be the big blockbuster, two more videos, the big breaking news of the day, and then the big last final uh, interactive chat with you before the evenings. So make sure you subscribe. I don't want you to miss that video. Also, like this video. It really helps in the algorithm rankings. And if you're not becoming a member, consider becoming a member. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay at LA for more.